Hi. In this video, a word given, patience. And I'm going to be in James 4, 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it until he receives the early and later rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. And now Revelation 3.10. 3.10 is very powerful because this is why God wants us and needs for us to be patient. It is going to determine whether we're going to be taken up with the Lord or not. So I'm going to be in Revelation 3.10. Revelation 3.10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's why it is crucial that we learn and have patience. Revelation 3.10 clearly states that we, that God, will keep us from the hour of temptations, of temptation, through patience. It is absolutely crucial that we understand patience. And to do, to have patience, you need to walk with the Holy Spirit indwelling you. And your heart must be pure. There is no other way to receive that kind of patience. There is no way. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have love, peace, and joy profound this kind of love and joy and peace it's profound it's not from earth it's from heaven and only God can impart that profound love joy peace in us through a pure heart that's the only way we have we can have it and I'm telling you that Revelation 3.10 is very close. If we do not have access to patience, then our love and our peace and joy are not profound in us. To have that kind of patience that's going to require for us in the last days, now, now, please, these words have been given to me today, just a little while ago, a humbling and patience. And you must have them to be counted worthy to be kept from the hour of temptation. And that will be my next video. I will explain to you why it's absolutely crucial and necessary to have, be humble, humility, and patience. Without it, you cannot just wait on the Lord. To wait on the Lord, we must have patience, and to have patience, we must have the Holy Spirit indwell in us so that our hearts 
can be purified. And again, I will, I will refer you to my video, A Circumcised Heart. When you receive your circumcised heart, you will have peace in you that you will know instantly what that profound love, peace, and joy that God is talking about in Scripture. You must possess a pure heart because God is only going to look at one thing, our hearts. If our hearts have darkness, we are not going to make it. It's as simple as that. Please, I will again put it in the subscription box below. Uh, and I, I implore you to seek God. Ask Him, tell Him, Lord, take away everything that is in my heart that is not of you. All of it, take it all out so he can purify your heart so that you can have peace, joy, and love, which is humility and patience. You have to have patience. Otherwise, you cannot wait upon the Lord. It's impossible. Okay? So please go look at the videos that I've told you. It's my personal experience. I'm helping you. I'm trying to help you get to where we need to be. The days are so dark, and this is so close. We must be ready, okay? So I'll talk to you later.